<laughs> Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I want to go over a little speculation. Well, there's a rumor that Knott's Bay Farm is going to get a Giga Coaster in 2023. A Giga Coaster is a coaster, any coaster that rises to over 300, 300 feet or higher, um, which, of course, Knott's doesn't have. Even Six Flags Magic Mountain doesn't have very many of those. Um, I have a 400 foot one, but do they even have a 300 feet one? I think they may. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. They have a hyper coaster, 200 feet. But yeah, <laughs> not so Farms room to get a giga coaster in 2023. The rumors are heating up again. A Screamscape source posted them yesterday, and. Man, Knott's is like a 45-ish acre park. I was like, where the heck would this giga coaster go? And so I decided, and maybe some of you will be thinking the same thing. So I wanted to go over on to uh, share my screen and do this, uh, like, well, Apple or Google Maps. I wanted to see where, what, what's the most likely site this possible coaster would go and where it would go based on the rumor. Now, Rumor is it's gonna be rumor is it's gonna be in Ghost Town. That's why the Mystery Lodge closed um, back in 2019. Because um the rumor also has, states that in quarter one or quarter two, which is the first three three to six months of twenty twenty two, uh that side prep will start in or around the mystery lodge, because that will be the Q area. Um, and potential station area of this coaster, this new gig coaster that will be Western themed. And so it's going to start in the ghost town area and then head actually outside of the park into the parking lots in and around the Knott's Bay Farm Hotel. So let's go ahead and share the screen and see where, uh, where this could go because those are big park lots, but Giga Coasters, man, Giga Coasters are huge. I mean, some examples of Giga Coasters are Fury 325, Leviathan, um, and uh, I'm trying to think of the one at um, Canada's Wonderland. But uh, the, the newest Giga, Co Giga Coaster that opened uh, opened last year, actually, was Orion at King's Dominion. So let's go uh, go check this out. Hold on, let's go check it out. Okay. All right, so here's Knott's Bay Farmer. Here's the Knott's Bay Farmer map. So the whole thing, again, here's the whole ride, hold the park. It's only like 45 acres, about the same size as the Universal Studios, but Universal Studios is split into two. This is Knott's Bay Farm parking lot. Of course, you go across the way. It's the main parking lot. And I was thinking, man, it would have to stretch into one of the parking lots because, um, because, you know, it would be disruptive for massive Giga Coaster to go across the whole perimeter of the park because it would take most of the perimeter of the park because these things are massive. Um, by the way, it most likely will be a B&M Giga Coaster because all the ones I just named, Orion, V8325, those are uh, B&M Giga Coasters, and uh, Cedar Fair seems to like to work with B&M. It probably won't be an Interman Giga Coaster, um, so that's just an Interman Giga Coaster. is slightly smaller. Uh, B&M Giga Coasters are bigger, so that's why it's an important discussion here. So here's the rumor. So let's go over the map. So we're zooming in. This is Ghost Town. It's going to start in Ghost Town. Uh, the rumor, um, and I did some videos on this about a massive fort expansion um, coming to the Ghost Town using these backstage areas. This is where the scary farm is, are, um, but this is still going to use the backstage areas here for this massive fort expansion. NASA Ford expansion uh, were uh, was rumored to include a new coaster. Um, some thought it was a family coaster or now it could be a good coaster. Now it seems to be 
a Giga Coast in the Mystery Lodge is hmm, Mystery Lodge is somewhere around here. Ooh, it's it's hard to uh, using Google Maps. It's, it's hard to see where the Mystery Lodge, could be, but the Mystery Lodge is somewhere around here by Calico River Rapids and all this stuff. The coaster would be in the backstage. Maybe the station would be over here. And it would be room it's room to use the southern parking lot. So I guess it's a it's a decent space because you can go you can kind of wrap around, go this way and go around the hotel and go hang around here. Or go this way, go up and hang around here. But I don't I get it's a, and in theory, it's a bigger parking lot than looks on the um, than it looks on Google Maps. I think this is two D, and it just looks small. But yeah, so the coaster would start here, hang around this parking lot, almost like Ghost Rider does. Ghost Rider uh, goes backstage mostly and into the parking lot. I'm wondering if it'll be a parking lot coaster or will they take away parking spaces and beautify the coaster? I feel like it might be a parking lot coaster, meaning there'll just be some supports. Oh, let's say these four parking spaces here, or these eight. I think one support, another support, but the rest will just be parking still, because not says need parking. I mean, look at this place, it's pretty landlocked. You got this area. And this area, tiny silk city, and then you just have parking for here, here, and here. This is the main parking lot, and then that's it. Um, maybe parking, sorry, maybe parking here as well. But, um, yes, yeah, so I feel like this will still re remain parking if this rumor comes true. That'd be awesome. Um, but imagine. I mean, again, let's just let's just take a look at some some giga coasters here. Because I mean, just I'm just to show how massive these things are. Hold on. Like fit or not, this would really change the skyline of knots and and Buena Park in general would be incredible actually. It'd be very incredible. Here's the Fury 325 as an example. This is the world's uh tallest and fastest giga coaster here. I mean look at this this is just massive. Absolutely massive. So it's on this scale, I mean that's be quite impressive. Quite quite impressive. Um, for knots, um, and it'd certainly be knots as big as coaster in California is one of California's <laughs> biggest coasters because again, Six Flags doesn't have many coasters over 300 feet of any coaster. I have just that super. I'm just, besides Superman, it doesn't seem. I'm trying to think of anything over 300 feet, and I think I don't know. I know obviously Glides is a hyper coaster, but yeah, a Giga coaster. <laughs> they uh. Not very common here on the West Coast. There's a lot of them on the East, the Midwest, and East Coast parks like Cedar Point, uh, Car Carowinds, even Canada's Wonderland. But here in California, not too many giga coasters. So it'll be very interesting if one comes to knots. Will Six Flags beef up, spend some more money, and put a giga coaster in the park for uh, Magic Mountain? As a lot of people wondered where. Uh, Wonder one, I mean, there's a lot of spaces where it could go, especially if something like Viper gets torn down. You can really put a Giga Coaster over there. So, very, very, very interesting. Also, it's very interesting. You know, this will be, um, if true, this will be Nas's 11th coaster, which for a park of 45 acres, that's not bad at all. Let's stick 11 coasters in there, plus all those other beautifully themed rides. And <laughs> with this ride being in Ghost Town, if it were to come true, um, that means it can just be themed absolutely beautifully. So I'm very excited for that. But what do you guys think about 
the rumors heating up again of Nasus Pro's Giga Coaster coming to Ghost Town. And do you think it will fit? I mean, I think it will fit. When you look, when you actually go to the site, it seems like that. But man, I'm trying to really imagine that in the skyline. And whoo hoo! I mean, Supreme Scream is 300 feet, so it appears to be tying Supreme Scream in height. It'll put another peak in that skyline. Supreme Scream will be on the, um, on the on the western peak, and then the eastern peak will have this beautiful coaster there. Very interesting. But uh, let me go. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be announcing it for such a lot next year. Um, to check on the progress of this and see it again. The first three to six months of 2022, when site prep will be starting, if it if it does happen. So. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll be checking on that. Subscribe for more theme park updates, like this video, and have a fantastic day.